I have been pursuing a more minimal and simplified life for the past five years. Here are 10 things I wish I'd known before becoming a minimalist. Also, a huge thank you to Infitran for sponsoring a portion of today's video. One thing I really wish I'd known before pursuing this more simplified lifestyle is that titles don't matter. I said just a second ago that I have pursued a more minimalist lifestyle. That is true. And the idea of minimalism has definitely been a guide, but I think that's all it should be. For so long, I thought, oh, I need to declutter. I need to declutter more of my stuff. The thing is, I thought about minimalism, but always steered away from it because it felt too extreme. It felt a little too scary. So what I'd wish I'd known is that titles don't matter and that you can pursue any level of simplifying that you want and you can forget the titles altogether, you will still benefit. I don't know why I never put the two and two together for so many years, but cleaning your house becomes 1000 times easier and you still definitely clean. You still do deep cleaning, you still maintain, you still tidy, you do all of that, but it just becomes so much easier when you have a simplified space, when you have less. So I used to constantly be running around in circles through my whole house, trying to keep it tidy, trying to be a quote unquote good housekeeper, not realizing, Candace, you just have too much. You can spend so much less time pursuing a clean space if you just get rid of the excess. I wish I'd really thought of that. I wish I'd put the two together sooner because that's something I definitely wasted a lot of time doing, I think is managing my stuff. I wish I'd realized that it's so much easier to prioritize what you want to keep rather than focusing on what you need to let go of. For so long, I thought, oh, I can't get rid of that. I can't get rid of this. I have such a hard time decluttering these categories. I felt so guilty over the money I'd spent or the fact that it was a gift or just guilty that I had made the choice in the first place and brought it into my home and then didn't end up using it or needing it. So I had a lot of guilt surrounding my stuff, but the thing that I realized later is that just prioritizing what you wanna keep and helps you not worry so much about all the things that you're going to have to get rid of or that you should get rid of or that you need to get rid of. It kind of shifts your perspective too and helps you focus on what a fulfilled life you will have with the stuff that you keep and not what a deprived life you're scared you're gonna have if you get rid of all this stuff. I'm excited to share these Infitran collapsible water bottles with you today. I definitely focus more on conserving space. Now I'm way more aware of the size of items that I keep. These Infitran water bottles are BPA free. They're made from premium BPA free and food grade silicone. They can hold extremely hot and cold, which I love water bottles that can go either way. These fold up so small and then just pop right out to full size. And then because they're so compact, not only do they store great in your kitchen, but they're great for travel, taking to the gym, a hike. They have a couple different bottle tops. So they have this one with just the twist on cap. And then they also have this other one with the straw. I love the color selection as well. There's also a little loop where you can tie the water bottle onto a gym bag or something like that. They're leak proof. I actually got a really fancy expensive water bottle for Christmas thinking, oh man, this is going to be worth the money. It leaks everywhere. It spills everywhere. So I was really disappointed in that. This one, however, does not. The links for these are down in the description below. All right. I also wish I'd known that you can make progress towards a clutter-free home just simply by curbing your spending habits. That alone will put you on such a great trajectory and will actually make a big difference in the level of clutter in your home, especially if you are used to spending, bringing a lot in. If you don't have the time or the energy, you don't know where to start, you're very unmotivated, and you don't know what to do in your house, just stop spending. Stop bringing items in. You will have already made progress if you can just do that. You can get to the decluttering later, but for now, just stop your spending. I also wish I'd known that keep boxes are just more delayed decisions more times than not. I kept so much thinking, okay, I'm just gonna think about this. I'm gonna just see if I end up needing it or wanting it later. Honestly, nine times out of 10 or 10 times out of 10, you don't need a think about it box or a maybe box or a just in case I need it box. 
so often you just need to declutter it. If you need it later, you can probably get it from a neighbor to borrow. You can probably find it on the marketplace for very, very inexpensive. If you're nervous, and this is what I would have told myself too, just go on marketplace now and see if it's available. But if you need that security, rather than keeping the item just in case, I would say check and see if it's something that is available in your area for a really good price. I wish I'd known that this was a journey so much more than it is a race. Once I finally decided to pursue a more simplified life, that morning that I woke up and I had just had enough and I decided to take back control of my space, I really felt like it was a race. I had to do this as quickly as possible. I obviously at that moment had a ton of motivation and thought, oh my gosh, I can get this whole thing done in a matter of months. And truly the maintaining of the clutter-free home is actually kind of tricky and I wish I'd known that. Just start now, start where you are, do what you can and realize that you go at your own pace. You don't have to have this done by a certain day. You don't have to have your house decluttered by this weekend. This is going to be a process and maintaining a clutter-free space is part of the journey and that, my friend, <laughs> never ends. So just begin the journey and realize that you're on this journey now forever and if you sidetrack, it's okay. Just get right back to it, get right back on track and your understanding of the benefits of a decluttered space are going to start keeping that motivation alive. Going right along that thought process, motivation comes after motion and I had not put the two together. I thought I've got to wait for myself to be motivated. Well, I eventually was, but that was, you know, 10 years after I'd been living in clutter and stress. So that I should not have waited for the motivation. I wish I had just put myself into motion and realized that the motivation would come after I saw results and saw benefits. One of the hardest lessons I've learned as I've been on this journey is realizing that memories are not only just held in the physical items. When I look back at my, let's say, perfect example, my daughter's books, her toys, I feel like I was trapped thinking, I have to keep all of this to keep her childhood alive. Not realizing that I have journal entries, photos, video footage. I can keep some things, but I don't need to keep everything. The memories are not just in the physical items. If I had just realized that earlier, it would have helped that sentimental guilt. And I think I would have made a lot more progress a lot more quickly. I wish I had realized sooner that donating is not actually wasteful. Keeping things in your house that you're not using is wasteful. Now I can hear the argument. What about the things that end up in the landfill? The things that you end up just throwing away or recycling? What about the things that you donate that don't actually get bought and used by somebody else? This is going to be a one-time thing. You are not going to continue to fill up your house over and over and over again to the brim with thousands of items that you don't need and keep quote unquote wasting them. Give away as much as you can. Donate what you can to people that you know, that you love, friends and family in your area. Do as much of that as possible if that will make you feel better. But realize that if you are really going to get on your on this path, if you're really going to start this journey, then the chances are you are not going to let your house fill up again like it was. You will still have to keep decluttering for sure because you're living your life. You will continue to declutter. You will continue to let things go, to do a 21 item toss, to do a purge every few months, but you're not going to let your house fill to the rafters again. So this is a one-time thing. You're learning the lesson and the lesson is not wasteful at all. Working out and being on a fitness journey is so hard for me. I feel like the results come after so much time and effort. It's hard to stay motivated. Decluttering is not this way. You will see benefits. You will feel benefits instantly. I wish I had realized that and just gotten to it so much sooner. I also wish that I didn't wait for an ideal situation. Don't wait till the kids are out of the house. Don't wait till you have the house of your dreams. You've got more square footage. You've got a basement. There are a million reasons you could wait to do everything in life. The time is now. Get into motion. The motivation will come. Stop waiting for the ideal moment. There will always be setbacks and life will always happen. So I wish for so many years I did not keep waiting for an easier time to declutter. 
nope, I still decluttered with my little kids in my house. It was slow, <laughs> it took me a lot longer, but I got it done. If you feel a lack of motivation to declutter, just begin, start with five minutes, start in the kitchen, utility drawer, clear out some garbage. This does not have to be a big overwhelming thing. Motivation will come after you set yourself in motion. You will not regret getting out from underneath your clutter. Don't forget to check the links in the description box. I'll see you soon.